Okay, here's a very short video of a preamp that has volume controls on both the input and the output. It's actually got 100K attenuators on each RCA input jack, so you can adjust how much input signal is going to the grid of the triodes. And then it's got a 10K pot on the output, so you can adjust how much gain is coming out of the preamp and going into your power amp and you can see over here I'm setting the preamp up so that we get 2 volts RMS out which is basically unity gain and understand this preamp was designed to create second order harmonic distortion so we are hoping to see this sort of distortion when it was driven with a full 2 volts RMS, which when checked on a scope was just short of clipping. So as you can see here, across the frequency range, we have right at 1%, 1.2% distortion across everything from down here 20 hertz up to 10K. So now I'm going to attenuate the signal going in by turning the input volume pots down about 80% of the way and then we're going to turn the output pot up so that we get the same 2 volts RMS out and let's see what kind of response we get from this. So you can see that reducing the gain on the input pot and increasing the gain on the output pot to get the same 2 volts RMS out, we're now at a quarter of a percent of distortion. So by using these two controls, you can vary how much harmonic distortion the preamp injects into the signal by changing the input to output control positions. Now the interesting thing about using the volume pot on the output is when you change the position or the output of the preamp, the distortion stays the same. So let's go back to our initial setting, but instead we're going to attenuate the output signal to 1 volt RMS. So you can see in this test, we now have 1 volt RMS out, but given that we went back to the same position of the input attenuators that we had on the first test and were adjusting the gain out of the preamp on the output, we have the same distortion profile that we had when we were outputting 2 volts RMS. So, to sum this up, changing the input signal strength will vary the distortion on the output of the preamp, whereas if you have the volume pot on the output, the distortion profile stays the same across all gain settings. So if you are looking to inject some second order harmonics, like we're seeing here, into a signal going into a solid state amp or something like that to get some quote tube sound. If you put the potentiometer on the output, you'll maintain that same percentage of distortion across all volume levels. So if you enjoyed this little video, please subscribe to my channel. Check out some of my other content, a lot of DIY stuff here. Like the video. And until next time, have a nice day.